Good morning guys, it is Monday. We are going to try to quickly pack a lunch, eat breakfast, and get the plan together for the week. So let's do this. I have not looked at my planner in a really long time. I do not remember what I'm doing this week, so I'm gonna check that. Then I have also been trying to use this thoughtful journal. I got it at Target, I believe. And it's just like a weekly thing. I just am trying to make more of a point to do things <laughs> that I want to do. I do things that like I need to get done, right? But I have a hard time doing just fun things for me, whether it be like little hobbies or working on stuff that's like only for me. I don't know. I'm have not been so good about that. Like I feel like my Free time, I just get really lazy. So I just am liking the idea of like checking in every week and being like, okay, what were you slacking on last week? Like, what did you not get done last week? Things like that. But, so I'm gonna kind of write that down and kind of go over my planner and what I'm doing this week and try to hopefully, things I wanna do this week in my, you know, thoughtful journal and try to like make a point to schedule it in my planner. I'm not always like good at sticking with this, but at least just like writing it down keeps it in my brain, you know? So, morning! Ooh, happy Tuesday. We're back in the car. <laughs> As always, we're always vlogging in the car. That's the only place I'm ever at, apparently. Apparently, today is an exciting day because me and my dad go to the dentist today. I'm, oh, freak. <laughs> And I absolutely love going to the dentist. Me and my dad always go together. We go every three months. Um, honestly, he doesn't love the dentist like I do, so I don't know why he goes every three months, but I go. He started going every three months. I got jealous because I wanted to get my teeth cleaned that often. And then I started going every three months. So we go together um, and then we go get sushi after every time every three months it's the routine I love the days we go to the dentist because I love going to the dentist I love well I don't like okay like people think I'm so crazy when I say that which like I am I understand but like I don't love sitting there and having them scrape my teeth obviously but I love having clean teeth and when it gets to be about three months I'm like mm. My teeth just don't feel as clean. Um, not gonna show you the dentist. Hopefully I can just show you my sushi. Um, because it's gonna be delicious. One of the best sushi places in the whole entire world. It's Koji, it's in downtown Northville. If you are familiar with the area, I promise you it's the best sushi you ever had. If it's not, I will reimburse you for your bill. Just kidding. But it's the best sushi you've ever had. I actually told my client if it wasn't the best sushi she's, she's ever had, I would pay for her next brow service. <laughs> because that's how serious I am about it. Like, it's serious. All right. So that's all for now, folks. See ya. I am so tired. Like, do you ever feel like, do you ever feel like you are asleep even though like you know you're not, like you feel like your body is asleep and you feel like your mind is asleep but yet somehow you are alive and, but yet you feel like you're sleeping. Like I feel like I can't really move <laughs> because I'm sleeping. And I feel like I can't think straight because I'm sleeping, you know? That's just how tired I am right now.
I'm so excited to have my nails done. I'm a girl again. Thank the Lord. The funniest thing just happened to me. Um, I It's so weird because I was getting ready for work and I was like, I remember thinking I was gonna wear leggings today. I don't remember why I was gonna wear leggings, but I was just thinking I was gonna wear leggings, but I never wear leggings to work, hardly ever. So I'm like, uh, that's dumb. I don't know why I was thinking that. So I'm just gonna put on jeans like always. So I have on my little turtleneck, my hoop earrings. I have on jeans and I even have on my cute, you can hardly see them, my cute heeled snakeskin boots. I remembered why I was gonna wear leggings. Because me and my mom are going to a intro Pilates class at lunch. <laughs> I've been to a Pilates class before and I only went to the intro class before but that was like a year or two ago and I haven't been back since and so my mom was wanting to go and I was like, oh, let me go with you again. Like I'll try it um, again. And I yeah, totally forgot we are gonna do that and then get lunch. And I almost packed a lunch too. I'm so glad I didn't do that. I literally forgot. So now I've been at work and I have to go home and change into leggings. <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Wow, just like Morgan, get it together. I've just been like forgetting a lot of things lately. My brain is just, I have too many things on my mind, I think. So funny. I just wanted to show you guys like for real what I was wearing. I mean, these shoes are the cutest. They're from Windsor. I just got them last weekend. But yep. Going to do Pilates like this. <laughs> okay. We're looking better now. Not only did I totally wear the wrong clothes and forget that I had Pilates today, I am now at the Pilates studio like 20 minutes early and I have no idea why. I am losing my mind and I'm not sure why. I just can't keep any of my thoughts straight. So. That's not the largest one you ever did see. What is, what is that? It's as big as my head. I don't understand. All right, well, I just got home for the day and I wanted to update you guys on the Pilates class that I went to earlier. BB came to listen. Did you want to listen to my story? Um, so I went to the intro class at lunch and went to lunch with my mom and it was great. Um, the intro class, it's not really like, I mean, you do some moves and obviously like some of the moves are challenging, but it's a really short class and it's really just to show you what kind of moves you do in class. And it isn't actually like hard. It's not actually like a workout, which is, I mean, which is fine. I knew it was going to be like that. So me and my mom went to lunch. We were looking at the schedule and deciding like, when do we want to go again? We're trying to, you know, make it so we can go together a couple times and stuff and I wouldn't be able to go till Tuesday. I was available today and they had a class at 4.30, so I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go back today. Like, it's not like I'm tired from the intro class or anything like that. So I went back at 4.30 and it really wasn't that hard. And like, I'm out of shape and weak right now too. Um, I talked to one of the ladies at the front desk and she kind of acted like she didn't like say it, but she basically said that like this instructor is more easy. So I'm gonna try, cause they have like level one classes, level one and a half, level two, whatever. And this was a level one class, obviously, cause it was my first class. I don't know, I was like surprised, but we'll see. I'm, I'm not gonna like go ahead and like say like, it's easy because I mean, obviously Pilates can be super hard. Hopefully it's just like the instructor because I'm like, there's no way, like there's no way because I'm not strong right now. And I mean, I feel it a little bit, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like whenever I start a new class, like the first class, I literally die, you know, like I, I die because it's a workout that you're not used to. And I guess maybe that's the beauty of going to like a level one first. Yep. There's my update. So I'm going to, I, um, 
got a package there, of course, so I'll continue to go. I just really needed something new. Um, I talked about this before that like I'm just not motivated right now. Like I just don't care. So, like I need some new stuff to get me excited. So I mean I'm excited to have a new workout routine. I could use it. Okay guys, so we are in my car again. I know. <laughs> I know it's like every every time I vlog it's just in my car, but it's just really the easiest way for me to like I'm on my way to the next thing like let me tell you about what I'm doing next, you know So I actually had an appointment today for Laser hair removal and an IPL for my face um, If you guys saw my last video, you know last week I had an appointment for my laser hair removal and they said I was still too tan and my skin was too dry and peely from Florida so she said one more week you should be good <laughs> so it's been a week and I had a, um, an appointment for my laser and then I'm gonna start doing IPL for the dark spots on my face I get up this morning and I'm like looking at my skin and it's like still dry and flaky and still pretty tan. I thought I'm, I'm not still super tan, but I just know how white I was when I was getting my laser treatments before I went to Florida. So I called them and I said I'm still tan and dry. So they said we'll just be on the safe side. So they canceled my appointment. Um, and then I was calling to make a hair appointment and I am gonna try someone new. So I also got my hair done last week, um, which you guys saw in my last video, my last vlog. I shouldn't say my last video, but my last vlog. And I just still don't love it. My hairdresser is amazing. The salon that I go to is absolutely amazing. I've gone to a couple of different people there and like, I think, they're like the ultimate like I sent everybody there because I'm like they are the best I don't remember if I said this to you guys before but I just feel like what I want is not actually like cool I don't know if it's that what I want is not like cool and trendy and popular or if it's that I'm just like the communication was off or just that like that's not his specialty my hair i think my hair turned out beautiful but it's not what i wanted if that makes sense so what i wanted was i still want like i don't know the technical words so like i have a balayage right now in my head the balayage is like the highlights that fade into the blonde where it an ombre is where just like the dark fades into the light and it's all just like one solid color that fades. That's what I want. I want like more solid color. Maybe that's not the best way to describe it is more solid color, solid, solid, solid color. I just want solid color. <laughs> I don't want highlights. Uh, but yeah, I still ended up with highlights and I basically was just like, you know what? Like I'm not no hard feelings like I'm not mad at them at all like I still absolutely love them and everything like that but I'm just gonna go dabble my toes into some other places and see if maybe that style of hair is more someone else's style so I was on Instagram for like hours and hours and hours and hours trying to pick out a different hairdresser so I found one that I really liked I will leave her information so that if you guys want to check her out on Instagram, she seems like she does some really cool hair. She seems really cool too. So I called to make an appointment with her and they said for any like kind of balayage color, they only do, she only will do a consultation first, which I actually love that she only does a consultation first because I, I, it makes me so much more comfortable that I'm able to talk to her about it before I, cause I feel like, okay, so I feel like whenever I go into the salon for color, and they're like, okay, what are we doing today? And I'm like explaining it to them. I feel like rushed. I feel like if I'm talking for too long about what I want, I'm showing you 5,000 pictures of what I want. It's cutting into the appointment time where if I have a consultation, I know that I can just talk 
the whole time about what I want and overly explain what I want and, I, and it's not taking away anybody's time because that's literally what I'm there for. So I really love that I'm having consultation and I really love that I'm able to talk to her. We're able to get on the same page before I even make an appointment because if it doesn't go well, then I don't want to make an appointment, you know? Anyways, I just wanted to explain you guys the hair situation. All right, guys, so I'm uh, my way back home now. Um, and yeah, it went really well. Um, I'm really glad that I had a consultation because I loved her and I feel really comfortable with her. I think she understands my vibes, you know? I guess I just wanted to tell you guys it went well and I'm gonna go get my hair done by her next week. And I'm really happy about that because I need a change. Even though I technically had a change, it's just like, it's just not what I wanted. Pray for me that the Starbucks line is not long right now. Not bad, not bad. Hi, can I get a double smoked bacon and cheddar sandwich? Yeah, double smoked bacon and cheddar. Anything else for you? Um, can I have a venti water? Water? Yes. Anything else? That's it. Alright, 525, thank you. It is so freaking warm outside. Hi. Hi. 525. Cute sunglasses. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm in my car again, going somewhere else again. But it's so nice outside. Holy crap, there's no clouds in the sky. It's 9.30 in the morning, and it's 53 degrees outside. I am off to an event at the salon that I work at. We are doing a pop-up shop for a Detroit boutique called Shop Fern. I went shopping there last Sunday. They, I don't work on Saturdays, but um, they wanted me to come in to help uh, merge <laughs> Vinny and June and uh, Fern to help people like shop and pick up clothes and stuff. So that's what I'm off to do for the next five hours. Considered getting some more caffeine, but I don't think I need it right now. I feel good. Because the sun's out. Oh, Ugh. it's terrible water. I knew it would be, but you know, it was desperate. I actually feel hot right now. Oh my gosh, 69 degrees outside? No wonder I'm so warm. Oh, man. I just finished the event. It was a lot of fun, a lot of cute clothes. Um, I bought some stuff, shocking. We are pretty much done for the day. I just have some basketball party to go to tonight. Really, um, really exciting, so. Um, yeah, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday now, and I am back in bed. Yesterday, I had that event at the salon where I was pretty much standing and talking to people from 10 to 3. Came home really fast made a salad to bring to the party that we went to last night for whatever basketball games were on that I do not care about. And it was such a beautiful day. We were outside and it was so fun to just like, hello. It was so fun to be outside and it was so warm. Oh my gosh, I was in a tank top. Although I was the, oh, everyone else was in sweaters and I was in a tank top. But I was warm. I was standing at the party. Uh, got there at six. 
was standing outside like the whole time and now I am so, so pooped. And I really um, want to like clean and um, do some shopping, make some returns and my laundry. And I think it's supposed to be nice outside again today so maybe take Phoebe for a walk. But I am just so tired right now. It hurts. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But right now it's not looking good. So I'm gonna just lay down for a little while longer. It's like almost noon. Oh, we're supposed to go grocery shopping too. Which I don't, I don't like that idea. So we'll see. Hey guys, I just wanna apologize for the most janky outro ever. I just finished editing this video and realized that I never did an outro because I felt like such crap that day and I literally just went the whole entire day in bed and then I think and then I went from the bed to the couch and then back to bed I just felt so crappy so I didn't make an outro because I was sleeping <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to come on here and finish out the video um I hope you guys enjoyed it uh please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe got more weekly vlogs coming I got more beauty videos coming very soon um, where I'm not looking and feeling like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>